Welcome ladies and gentlemen, damsels and dingbats. I am your host DM Renavion and today I'm bringing you Cross Out. This uh, this game's a little harder to define than uh, the last ones we've played. This one is Vehicular PVP. Uh, you design and build your own vehicles with uh, equipment that you have earned or built in the game and then you go blow the crap out of each other to get more parts and more levels and build more sophisticated vehicles and it keeps going up like that it feels a lot like uh... it's got a very mad max feel to it uh... some people have actually called it the mad max mmo though it's not much of an mmo it is uh... multiplayer online but there isn't a lot of story to it uh, i'm gonna go ahead and run through real quick what the components of the game are uh, right now we are in our garage. Uh, once we have a vehicle, this is where we're going to view it. When we build our vehicle, this is where we, we do the building, the modification, and so forth. Uh, we also have our uh, battles tab. This is where we send our vehicles into battle. <coughs> we can test drive them to work out the bugs and so forth. Uh, up here we also have factions. Everyone that plays the game starts out as an engineer, uh, but you can activate and take levels in the lunatics the nomads and the scavengers each one of these has its own available uh, crafting options as well as vehicle vehicular blueprints and vehicular equipment that can be unlocked as you play the game uh, I'm only gonna go through engineers here real quick for you just to show you what I'm talking about uh, as you start out you can get into manufacturing different level the items and then this over here tells you how much it costs so right now if I wanted to make a 76 millimeter cannon I could do so because I have the scrap required then all I'd have to do is click build and it would give me a certain amount of time until I need it until it was finished uh, you can also do rare equipment which is more powerful just as is tradition in most games and then uh, I believe it's called the legendary um, this is much more uh, powerful a lot rarer a lot more difficult to put together uh, all items that are made in the game can be sold in the local market we'll talk about that here in a minute uh, each faction has vehicle blueprints this is the starter vehicle that most everyone will start with um, and then as you progress in levels with the faction the, they give you blueprints that are more pro progressively more detailed and uh, more combat worthy uh, as you see here I'm a level 19 once I hit 20 I'll be able to unlock this vehicle as long as I have the parts for it in my storage I can automatically load this build all I have to do is come down here and click load and then that will automatically load that vehicle into my garage as long as again as long as I have the parts which I don't have all the parts for this um, each faction also has equipment that can be unlocked as you play uh, right now I have recently unlocked the two long pipe shields two half walls and my vehicle parts limit has gone up to 60. I can have up to 60 parts on my vehicles. Uh, when I hit level 20, I will unlock a plank, two girl parts, and my storage size in, in my storage will increase to 300 parts. So every time you level in each faction, you get something different for that faction. Okay. Um, market. This is where you go to buy or sell your goods, depending on what you're looking for. We have everything from vehicle components to weapons to, to hardware, tires, structure, decor, paint, whatever. Okay, uh, everything in here is made by other players or won by other players. In the case of a lot, a lot of this uh, this uh, common gray stuff like the light machine guns and the 7.6 millimeter cannons or the 76 millimeter cannons excuse me uh, these are won in combat or through PVE we'll discuss that here in a minute uh, the market also has a 
place where you can monitor the sales that you have up or the buy orders that you have up and you can view your own personal market history for example I just sold a whole or I just uh, purchased a bunch of fuel barrels because I was uh, building some tires uh, for my vehicle and I sold an 88 millimeter cannon it tells you who you sold it to how much on the date everything okay uh, if we come into storage this is the main part of this game pretty much you'll be using this to view everything that you possess for building new vehicles leviathans and so forth uh, again you can organize everything by category and by rarity you have your base equipment which is the gray stuff let me go ahead and go like this this is the base gear uh, for example your starter cab all of your starter stuff uh, the structural components that you have earned from your factions uh, all goes in here uh, then you get into your common stuff which is uh, stuff that other players create or you win in PvP or PvE uh, then you go into your rare items the rare items generally speaking you're either gonna have to purchase from somebody build yourself or get in a container um, and obviously the the more the rarer items get uh, the harder they are to get Mo it's gonna get up to the point where up here you, you have to build it you can't win it or from something Okay, fusion pretty much means if you have, uh, I think it's three items. It might be two. I haven't done this in a while. Um, basically, like I have two medium machine guns here. <clears throat> if I take those two medium machine guns, actually it says right here I need three. If I had a third one, I could fuse them all together, and I would receive another medium machine gun. So I would turn three into one but the advantage to that is it gives your medium machine gun an additional special feature like it'll allow it to do more damage or it'll allow it to fire faster it'll allow it to uh cool down faster so, you know randomly you know it'll do something okay uh store right now the game is in closed beta you cannot access it when they release it the plan is that it's going to be free to play uh, right now, the only way to get into the game is to buy one of these four packages. Uh, or I purchased the $25.99 package, or the $24.99 package. There's a $29.99, a $49.99, and a $59.99. With each of these packages comes the vehicle shown, the avatar shown, and the paint shown. So that you can paint, you know, you get this vehicle for 50 bucks, and it's got this special coloring on it. Uh, you get that paint can so any other vehicles you make you can use that coloring okay uh, most people buy this little well you also get this coin in-game currency with the package most people purchase this base package just to get in and then earn their way up like I've been doing but I have heard many people saying that they've purchased all four packs when the game releases they're going to reset everything back to zero except for those of us who have purchased these packages are going to get our base packages that we've purchased back so if you buy just this one this is the stuff you're gonna have when you start if you just come in free and and you don't have any of these packages you are probably just gonna have the base starter set okay I am level 19 I have been playing this for a little while when the system resets I'm gonna be right back at zero with the rest of you okay uh, so you can buy into the game early before the release uh, with one of these packages exhibition this is where you go when you want to view other people's designs whether it be uh, a regular car they have a lot of different people uploading their designs you can design your own vehicle and upload it here for other people to view and then of course you've got leviathans Leviathans are the toys that you create when you have a lot of extra parts. You go in and you buy a lot of guns and you throw them on these vehicles uh, and then you turn them loose. Basically, you loan the design of your vehicle to the game 
And then when other people do PvE missions where Leviathans are concerned, there's a chance that your design will get pulled up and thrown up against the players. If you defeat the players, you get a special reward. It's a certain amount of copper, copper being used in a lot of uh, crafting. Okay, So this is something that can be going on in the background. You're not even playing the game, and your Leviathan can be out smashing faces. So that's kind of a unique uh aspect of this game that I've never seen before so that's very enjoyable you can go through and look at all the leviathans and all the all of the cars and uh, if you see something you like just like with the faction vehicles you can click on load and if you have the parts to build it you can run around and use it okay and season these are little missions that you can do there are three levels of missions easy normal and hard down here it tells you how many of there's eight missions for each package okay so say if we want to go into the easy bravery and madness package I haven't done any of these yet but there are eight missions uh, this one says destroy 20 raiders using machine guns once I've completed that I get 25 scraps scrap again being used to either sell on the market or construct new gear through the crafting system once you defeat this you unlock the next one and then the next one and so forth until when you finished all of these this is your final reward. So in addition to what you get rewarded for all of this, you're also going to be rewarded this 300 scrap. Obviously, the harder the package, this one's normal, and for it you will be rewarded a rare buggy cabin. This is one of the fastest cabins in the game. So if you want that hot rod race car style Mad Max vehicle, this is the cab you'd want. And then, obviously, the third package, being the hardest, gives you a charged radiator. This is a, a kind of an epic quality uh, item. These sell pretty good on the, in the auction if you don't want to use it yourself, which most people do. Um, so this gives you something to do. If you don't want to go do uh, just random stuff, if you, if you need an objective, if you need something to focus on, uh, that'll do it for you. Um, this is your fuel. There are two things, two types of battle you can do in this game. Or actually, there's more than that now. You can do your uh, PvP, which this is this joins you. Once you queue up for this, uh, it'll hook you up with some teammates, and then you pretty much it's last man standing or capture the flag. You know, they kind of mesh the two together. Um, get the machine gun, get the shotgun, get the cabin. No matter which one of these you select, you're going to be possibly teamed up with the same folk on the same map uh, so I want to get the machine gun I'm on the same map as the guy getting the cannon the only difference is if my team wins he's gonna possibly get one of these rewards and I'm gonna get one of these rewards that's if we win okay uh, raids this is PVE this is when you and your group go up against uh, computer bots to accomplish a certain goal such as destroying uh, a certain number of pump jacks that's these well jacks here or racing or defending something um, these cost fuel to do that's what this up here is for to do a defensive old town and potentially went up to six coupons and, and a certain amount of copper you need to use 10 fuel uh, for the day and this refills every day uh, or you can uh, earn it through PvP uh, if you put a fuel tank on the bottom of your PvP vehicle or anywhere on your PvP vehicle for that fact uh, you can as you win PvP fights you can win more fuel for the PvE these coupons are used for purchasing uh, cargo containers from the engineering faction that uh, sometimes contain loot. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that it's not worth it to farm these coupons right now because the crap in the containers are literally that crap. But uh, hopefully they'll have that fixed by the time this releases and, and people start playing it more regularly. Uh, the brawls are pretty much no teams. You know, it's up to you know they just throw everybody in and it's pretty much a last man standing. This one here, uh, free for all, you just nuke each other. Storm warning, you nuke each other, but you have, kind of have a time limit because this big ass storm comes in, and if gee, there's too many people left, it starts, you know, it starts killing people off. And then clans, uh, this is where you, you and your clan mates go in and 
go head to head with a different clan. Um, so these are things that you can do, uh, and these missions count towards the seasonal stuff. So when it says this one here, when it says destroy 20 raiders using machine guns, well, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here into battle, and you're gonna go into raid, because the raiders that's the bots. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna come in here, and it, once you've killed 20 raiders with those machine guns, you're gonna complete that mission, and that's actually fairly easy to do since those bots keep spawning for pretty much until you finish your objective. Um, this is your in-game currency. This is what you use to purchase things off the market from other players. Um, very very handy to have, uh, obviously. Uh, these are your challenges. Each day you receive a challenge, uh, and if you complete the challenge, you receive said awards of scrap again for crafting. Um, come on. This is your personal level. This is your character icon, uh, avatar. You can change this at any time to any one of the avatars that you've unlocked or purchased or made available. Also in the game are trophies, stickers, Combined, the trophies and stickers are pretty much just your achievements. Uh, I don't know if they're ever going to use stickers to purchase things or anything like that. It would be kind of cool, but right now, it's just an achievement list of things, you know, to give you a goal to focus on, something to do, okay? Uh, the guide itself is going to show you what all of the parts are what their stats are, whether you own them or not. So you can go through and, and see what everything's capable of without having to go search through the market or purchase or create the things yourself. Okay, And then again, history is going to show you what trophies and stickers you've won, what matches you've won and lost, and so forth throughout however far back you want to go and look. Okay. Over here, we have our menu, which can also be accessed by hitting the escape key as in most games. Down here, you have your vehicle slots. Right now, I can have up to two vehicles. I think you start out with one, or no, you start out with two vehicle slots. When you hit a certain level, you get a Leviathan slot. So you can have pre-created two vehicles or two vehicles and a Leviathan. Um, and this stuff down here is for saving and modifying your vehicles. So we've gone over. Oh, and there's a uh, there's a little chat over here. It's only you can only see what's coming up in here if you click on it, and then you can chat with anybody who is in their garages. Uh, you can't directly chat with anybody already in the arena fighting. Uh, those are private chats restricted only to those people in said battle. Uh, I imagine that was to keep communication between teammates from getting all chaotic and clusterfucked. So, in order for us to get into a battle, we need a vehicle. So, as I said, I am level 19. I have gained some parts from a couple factions. Uh, you're not going to have access to a lot of these parts. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into faction and I'm going to load up just a basic engineer build. Uh, whoops, not like that. I'm not gonna go vehicles and then we'll go to the scallywag because everyone's gonna have access to the starter car but the scallywag's the step up so we're gonna go ahead and load it and then we'll close this oh, what did I do wrong here let me try that again I uh, forgot to click load. Click yes. Close this. Now, as you can see, I only had so many parts for the total build. I don't have all of the parts I need for the build. Well, first of all, we're going to get rid of a couple things. So let's go into build. If you right click on something, it'll, it'll make it go away. So we're going to get rid of those two starter guns. Now, I need tires, first of all. I'm not going anywhere without tires. Now, the last time I played, I built these two large tires. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw them on the back of my beast here. 
you hold control while you click uh, for placement it'll duplicate it uh, up top of the screen you can see what your controls are uh, down here I'm gonna put on some medium tires steering tires obviously the bigger the tire the more damage they take uh, over on the right you can see upper right it says medium wheel steering uh, it tells you it's worth 38 power uh, 600 kilograms 90 point structure which means it can take 90 points of damage before it's destroyed and it's worth 100 kilograms towards your mass you have a mass limit on your vehicles uh, lower right is the, the, the one you're going to be looking at the most this says it's worth uh, your total vehicle is worth 665 power your total vehicle has 363 points of structure uh, 16 of your 60 maximum parts that's my maximum parts you're not going to start with that much uh, the cab I'm using the truck cab has 8 available energy for guns uh, special equipment and so forth uh, there you can see my mass and also you can see uh, what my vehicle's acceleration and top speed look like okay um, so the power score as you add parts onto this vehicle your power score is going to go up the game uses power score to try and put you into teams and against opponents of roughly uh, roughly the same power score to kind of keep things balanced uh, so the lower power scores uh, I usually go in around 2000 2500 um, and that seems to be where uh, you know the lower end stuff is played but they've really done a lot of work on the balance of this game so you could probably find a fairly decent match just about any uh, any power level so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I've got two medium machine guns I'm going to go ahead and throw on this. Uh, I'm going to put one on the front and I'm going to put one on the top. Okay. And then we're going to go in and take a look at our hardware. I don't have any special hardware but this would be where you would so go into parts here, hardware. Okay, this is stuff like your generators to to give your vehicle access to more more power um, ammo packs increase your ammo engines increase your speed uh, all kinds of stuff like that so a lot of these things you know obviously not the generators but like the uh, the engine for example requires uh, it adds two energy or that's the generator let me see here let me find something that will work with my example scope uh, this is this is useful for a lot of cannons uh, if you want to do sniping long range, it takes one point of energy drain. So if I put this on my truck, my energy goes down to seven from eight. You know, one of my points is being used. Uh, that's just an example. A lot of this stuff does require energy usage. Uh, right now, these machine guns, I just put two of them on there. Uh, each of them takes three points of energy drain. So I'm running six of my eight drain right now or six of I'm draining six of my eight available power so I've got two more power to put you know to use on this right now however my big concern is armor this cab uh, anything on here can be destroyed uh, if this gets shot and it gets destroyed I can still go uh, it, it, this will you know come off the vehicle everything is destructible if this cab is destroyed, this is the heart and soul of the vehicle. If the cab is destroyed, you're out. Um, so you want as much armor on this as possible. So we're going to go ahead and go in here to structure. And you can organize it by rarity. Or you can actually come in here and organize it by other things. I'm going to organize it by structure because structure is the hit point value of the vehicle. I'm going to put a couple of these small plows on the front because they got a lot of hit points and usually when people are shooting at you or you shooting back you know the it seems like the front end of the vehicles are usually the first to go we're gonna slap a couple of these components on the side here I do not like that there so we're gonna slap that there come around here get rid of that plate 
that there. I'm going to put on a couple of these pipe housings here. I'm going to stick them on sideways so that they don't interfere with the firing arc of our machine guns. Like that. Okay, so we've got some good armor on the sides of the cab. Let's throw something on the back here real quick just because we don't need that. Don't need to get blowed up because our butt end's exposed. Alright, so we're currently running at a power score of 1964. Uh, we have a good amount of, we have a decent amount of armor on. I don't know if you call it good. Uh, let's go ahead and throw... That's good enough to play with for now. Okay, so what we're going to do, actually, I do want to move this machine gun back a little bit. Okay. Uh, last thing we'll do real quick. I have earned some paint, and they call it dyes, but it's paint. Uh, I have earned some paints, so we're going to go ahead and rush through here real quick and paint everything up. Uh, there are all kinds of paints that can be earned and you can usually earn them through your factions or you can buy them on the market uh, I, I just earned this from a special event uh, a while back along with the stripes but we're just going to throw the stars on here okay and then we're going to exit out and you see down here it saves your vehicle so if I wanted to build a different vehicle I'd have to click over here and then I could build a completely new vehicle with whatever parts remain that I did not use on this once I use the parts on this and it sits here uh, I, I can't use them for anything else unless I harvest this vehicle so and then if I want to load it back up I just click right there okay now we're gonna go into battle I'll show you what battles all about real quick we're just gonna do a real quick PvP get the machine gun click battle and you'll queue up if we win we're gonna get one of these rewards or a random part of common rarity that's the white and our 25 pieces of scrap right now we've been in queue for 11 seconds average time is five so usually it auto loads you in but right now it seems to want me to click no biggie all right controls are uh, dub wasid uh, for driving and your weapons are going to track uh, if they're trackable they're going to track to your mouse so wherever you move your mouse to look those guns are going to point not all vehicles are, or not all weapons are like that missile launchers and stuff like that are in a fixed position uh, you need to actually move your vehicle the crosshairs will show you uh, where you're pointing so then what we're going to do is we're just going to find our target and hold down the right mouse button and blow them up back here with the group try not to overexpose ourselves try not to keep blowing up our own people ow that guy's got a cannon and he's targeting me so he blew off now both of my guns are gone so I gotta get out of here I am no longer useful as a combatant, so what I need to do is, this has just become a capture the flag match for me, so while my teammates keep shooting at the bad guys, I'm going to go up here and see if I can't park myself in their flag area, right here, you can see it's surrounded by a white circle, as long as I stay in that, and I don't have any opponents come in, then I am racking up points toward capturing the flag. Once you capture the flag, you win the game. Once all of your enemy opponents are dead, you win the game. Uh, here you can see the rewards and the experience gain that I've achieved. It only gives you a brief amount of time to look at it. It gives you the option to either escape and go back to your garage, or it's automatically going to kick you into another match. So let's go ahead and do one more match here real quick. Manage not to die on that last match, which is great this map I'm not overly familiar with though so that's not a good thing uh, for those of you that notice I have four-wheel steering on my vehicle 
Uh, it takes a little bit of time to get used to, to driving, but it does make you a lot more maneuverable. Okay, there are captains, like... Hi, big guy. Not smart of you to come out here. Ooh. Not smart of me to set my butt end up here for them to shoot at either. Um, your team is going to consist of other players and or bots, depending on how many players are available for the match. Uh, you can generally tell that people like Sarah, who I'm shooting at right now, that's probably a bot. Kristen, probably a bot. Jacob, a bot. A lot of bots right now. It is closed beta. Find somebody that's got a weird name like uh, the second guy right below. Upper left screen. My name is Verilect. Uh, so I've got the one next to my name in blue. That's how many kills I've got. Dom45. That's probably another player because it's a very unique name. Uh, Lisa's a bot. Sophia is a bot. You know, like I said, there are a lot of bots. Uh, this time of morning, there aren't a whole lot of people on. Second victory, all right? Uh, later in the day when there are more people on, see, I've won a barrel and I've won 31 scrap. These are the stickers that I've earned. Uh, and these points are going towards my uh, daily uh, quests. These uh, right here, the challenges. So I just completed one of my challenges. Um, also, go in to storage you can see uh, I've won let's go come on, close that go to storage you go here so I've won a little bit of scrap and I think I won yeah I won a light machine gun and I want one of those fuel barrels Okay, so now you can either sell this on the market or you can salvage it, and when you salvage it, you get scrap, okay? Fuel barrels aren't worth a whole lot on the market, so I just salvaged it to show you how it works, all right? Uh, you gain experience as you battle. You gain experience both for your own personal level, which is here, and you gain experience in whatever faction that you currently have active, which is here. So right now I have engineers active. So every battle I go in and I win a little bit of reputation, a.k.a. experience, it's going to fill this border up. Once this border fills up, I get the next level and I get whatever achievements are in there. Uh, I'm going to gain engineering experience, which is basically your base level experience every time you get experience. Uh, right now, um, I have lunatics active. See how it's orange? Okay. I have lunatics active. So I'm also gaining lunatic experience. You're going to gain engineering experience and one of these factions experience every time you win a battle, every time you complete a PvP mission, you know, whatever. So this is how you advance in gaining new parts and so forth and, and gaining new construction abilities and so very consuming game especially if you're into pvp i'm not a big pvp -er, but i've discovered vehicular pvp i'm perfectly fine with uh virtually unlimited number of designs when you go into the build process uh there are you control everything down to the frame uh what kind of tires you use uh you can build some crazy crap in this game and then share it with other people so uh, I, even before I got into the PvP of this game just the ability to design these vehicles alone was enough to suck me in for hours and hours and hours so uh, if you like World of Tanks you'll probably like this game if you don't like World of Tanks you might still like this game give it a shot uh, worst case comes to worst wait till it comes out once it's released from beta and it's free you're not out anything give it a shot you don't like it 
you're not out anything. You do like it? Hell, we might run into each other someday and I might blow you up. Or you might blow me up. Who knows? Anyway, this has been Cross Out. I'm your host, Diem Renavio, and I'm saying thank you again for, for hanging out and watching. Until next time, stay safe. Have fun. I'm out. <laughs>